Next up, we got Hip Hop Daily. Lil Rod, the most hated crash dummy in Alabama, bro. The most hated crash dummy is crazy, bro. Hey, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Lil Rod popped off and became one of the hottest rappers to ever make it out of Mobile, Alabama. But now he's starting beefs with everyone and taking huge L's on camera. From mm -hmm. sending shots at NBA Youngboy to getting robbed by goons at the mall to they were breaking. That's where bro fucked up at. You know, it's not too many young dudes out here rapping who take shots at YB. And if you know YB and he, who his crew is, the motherfuckers ain't got it all up here either. You feel me? Down by Lil Rise one of Mobile, Alabama. But now he's starting beefs with everyone and taking huge L's on camera. From sending shots at NBA Youngboy to getting robbed by goons at the mall, today we're breaking down why Lil Rise one of the most hated rappers in Alabama. Most people heard of Lil Rod for the first time after he sparked a beef with NBA Youngboy. It's not clear why it kicked off, but Lil Rod allegedly took the first shot at Youngboy on the track I Don't Respond and raps, I don't stay too far from Utah, take a trip to see the view. Ha, who, why, you, die, who, bye, who. My brother claimed he die move, ain't believe him till I see him draw blood. When you hit a nigga head, that blood rush out just like a flood. People thought he was dissing Youngboy because everyone knows Youngboy's been out in Utah for a couple of years. And then Youngboy allegedly clapped back on the track Heard of Me when he rapped. Got too much sense inside my head to lose it all behind a hoe. Trying to get a session with DJ Khaled and make them all lay on the floor. Trying to let that rookie open my venue and kill his whole clique at the show. He's from an hour away and from that distance, I can see that he a hoe. I peep your chain out with my scope. I get your address from my folk. Rod thought Youngboy was calling him a rookie, so he dropped a freestyle and said he could send killers at Youngboy. Nigga clapping, I'm a rookie, my dog know I get shit kicking too. Now young niggas that pop out cut with switches just to hit at you. I don't stay too far from you to talk, you talk shit, make me visit you. Then Lil Rod sent more shots at Youngboy and his crew on the track Rookie of the Year and said, I'm the Rookie of the Year. That pussy know, that's why he on my dick. When I'm an hour away at home, I'm riding with so many sticks. I throw a K behind that track. Ain't gotta wonder if I'm on that shit. Nigga, I come direct with it. When you say my name, bitch, you better mention respect with it. And now you sitting on top of the mountain, bitch. I'm outside leaving stains. Soon your brother and them pop out, I'ma make sure he ain't the same. Pussy nigga called me a rookie, like that ain't who changed the game. People were already talking about Lil Rye, but then a few weeks later, he made headlines for all the wrong reasons. Rye was shopping for clothes in the mall out in Atlanta when some goons came up and robbed him in front of everybody. Youngboy started clowning Rye on social media after the situation went down, and that's why rumors are flying that Youngboy's homies were the ones who robbed him. It turned out that Youngboy and his people didn't have anything to do with Rye getting pressed at the mall, but Youngboy allegedly sent Lil Rye a thread after Rye took a trip to Utah. A couple months after Rye and Youngboy started beating, it turned out that Youngboy and his people didn't have anything to do with Rye getting pressed at the mall, but Youngboy allegedly sent Lil Rye a thread after Rye took a trip to Utah. A couple months after Rye and Youngboy started beefing, Rye went to Utah and posted about it all over social media. A lot of people thought he was trying to clown Youngboy. So NBA Youngboy hopped on IG and wrote, and boy, you scared to go home. Stop. Stop playing mind games with these dicked out people. You know what up. Another reason why Youngboy might have issues with Lil Rye is because of Pete Youngie. Pete Youngin signed with Youngboy when he was only 16 years old. Pete of course, Pete Youngin. I feel like that's where it all started at with Pete Youngin was going up in the rap game, but Youngboy was doing more for him than just putting P on the label. P had dropped up. And let me address that part because I know some of y'all gonna take it the wrong way. And what I mean by that is, P Youngin, he was cool with YB, tied to the label, call him brother, everything like that. It must have been something that was said behind the scenes for Lil Rod to even feel comfortable coming out talking all this shit about YB without even meeting YB, without even speaking to YB. You feel me? And that's why I feel like it started with P. Young because P, if, 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 you feel me? If why be your brother and you not going to check another nigga for speaking on your, come on, man. The school got active in the streets, but young boy offered P a honey K and a Corvette to go back and finish. P. Young started repping 4K Trey really hard, and he even told young boy's odd Fredo Bang that he was going to put a Draco in his face. Back in the day, it seemed like P. Young was going to be rocking with young boy for life. But then everything started to fall apart. The first drama they had was when Youngboy started to stop the violence campaign. Hey, stop the violence. Hey, look at me. I can promise you it's a bigger side of life. 
stop the violence. P. Youngin said he wasn't stopping anything and was gonna increase the violence instead. I ain't stopping all that, you know, yeah, we increasing all the smoke, bitch. Yeah, fuck the nigga, man. P. Youngin even started posting King Von tracks on IG and everyone thought he was doing it to this young boy. Then a dude named Jonah B said that NBA young boy was gonna take P. Youngin's chain away and give it to young boy's homie Lil Dump instead. That's when P. Youngin and Lil Dump started taking shots at each other and P. Youngin aired Lil Dump out for blocking them on IG. D be so Damn, lame. Block me, I don't, we ain't even never had words to each other. You blocking me for P. Youngin ended up leaving young boy's label after all the drama went down. Youngboy never called him out by name, but he allegedly sent a warning to Pete Youngin on IG and wrote, You might lose your life taking things personal. Pete Youngin and Lil Rai were homies, and some people think that's where Rai's beef with Youngboy came from. What's weird about the situation though, is that even after the beef started with Youngboy, Rai told one of his homies on IG Live not to say, Fuck 4K Trey. Lil Rai said it one time, and when his homie did it again, Rai told him he's really gotta stop, cause he got other stuff going on. Maybe on the internet shit, Tony. I'm just gonna be. Just say fuck, fuck, and trade. <laughs> stop, bro. no, no, stop, stop, stop. I can't keep doing that, though, no, because I got, I, it, 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 it ain't even no lie, though. Lil Rise beef with Youngboy might be pulling off right now. But his situation in Atlanta will forever change. Yeah, 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 Y'all let me know down in the comments. So this right here is 21 Savage People. Or is it another 4K, I mean 4L gang out there or group out there? Y'all yeah, let me know. Let, let, let and you know why we need to take your chain? Tap in. Tap in, nigga. Then Rye clapped. After they robbed him in the mall, the 4L dudes hop on social media and told Lil Rye he better get out of the city. Take hey, you the f out of the city. And you know why we need to take your chain? Yeah, tap in. Tap in, nigga. Then Rye clapped back. He said, he said, get the fuck out the city. You know why we didn't take your chain. So is it because it's a 1017 chain and that 1017, 1017 is linked to Gucci? Or is there another reason? You feel me? Cause I know some of y'all, y'all be really up on like, you know, the information about what's what's be going on with these boys. You feel me? So it's like, come on, man. Give me the scoop. Give me the scoop. Acting clown for not even snatching his chain and told him to drop their location. A nigga ain't take shit off my neck. Rye even went back to the same mall the day after he got robbed and said he wasn't worried about the ops. I was just in here too deep, little six niggas versus two. I couldn't do shit. But shit, you see me now? Got a couple of bros with me. But shit, even if they couldn't call me today on red, I was gonna come back in this all by myself. Rye got clowned all over social media for the mall situation, but he still got some homies in Atlanta who were clapping back for him. Rye is tight with the dude named Lil Birdie. And Birdie talked on live about how Rye had six dudes on him and they still didn't even take his chain or hurt him. Six big ass nigga, Lil Rye's little hell to be honest, you feel me? Lil Rye's little hell. Six big ass nigga run up on you and don't get your chain. What did they do? A lot of rappers who run labels hand out chains when they sign a new artist, but most of the time they're not very big. The 1017 chains that Gucci gives his rappers are different though. Gucci wants to make sure his artists can really flex when they sign with him, so he gives them huge chains with a 1017 pendant. The ice is crazy thick and heavy, and some people think that's why the 4 dudes weren't able to snatch it off Rye's net. The 4 dudes aren't the only ones in Atlanta that Lil Rye has drama with though. He's been beefing with another rapper from the city named Anti The Menace. Rye and Anti The Menace used to be cool and linked up in the studio together back in the day, but something went down behind the scenes that made him fall out. It's not clear where the beef started, but Anti The Menace dropped the track, banned from the A, and rapped. Heard that boy said I was broke. Bank account on overload. I'm the one who never fold. Run up. Get say, let me just say this. I kind of feel like they kind of fell out because of the whole YB situation. But just think, if y'all know Anti The Menace was trying to sign with 4K Trade, right? Well, NBA, right? That would have been so good if Lil Ross signed with NBA, P Youngin on NBA, and Anti The Menace on NBA, including all the other artists that's on NBA. Like that, that shit would have been a great roster. Or am I tripping? I feel like it could have been a great roster, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. 
your melon bloom. Say little rye, whenever you die, burners still go into the sky. I really burnt me something before. I'll make your mama cry. And I used to fuck with Rod. Can't even kill him. Might shoot him in his knee. Now nah, I'm playing. When I catch that boy, he dying. Then Lil Rod clapped back on his track. Banned from where? And raps. Anti dropped a song saying my name. Rocking moist tonight chains. I don't even want to respond. Cause these niggas so fucking lame. All in the A. They know I bust the brain. Got rich and still ain't changed. Glock 23 clutching. LeBron James. Lil Rod's making waves cause of all the beef he's getting into right now. But before the drama, he was already on his way up. He started rapping back in 2019, but didn't really start taking it seriously till 2021 cause he was too busy in the streets. Lil Rod came up in Mobile, Alabama and was actually a good kid. He wanted to go to school to be a dentist back in the day, but by the time he got to his senior year of high school, he realized that wasn't gonna work out. Rod got a scholarship to go to college, but they weren't gonna pay the whole bill. And that's when he decided to get active in the streets. His family didn't have a whole lot while he was growing up, and Rye's dad got sent to prison when he was just five years old. Many days, they wouldn't even have money to turn the lights and water on. And when Lil Rye was about to graduate high school, he decided to make his own lane and jumped off the porch. Lil Rye was in the trenches for a couple of years before he started dropping music, but he only started getting booked after his rap career was popping off. He started running up big numbers on TikTok and YouTube, and then he got arrested on the same day his first official music video came out. Rye said it was his first arrest and that the cops in Mobile knew who he was because of his music. And that's why they started paying more attention to him. My first time in jail, it was like, um, the same night I shot EST Flow. Really? Yeah, one of my videos had just hit 100K. They were just on some bullshit. And they just pulled you over and what they no, gave you they ain't, they ain't pulled me over. I was just walking downtown. It was some bullshit. I ain't chilling on shit. They knew who you were? Hey, yeah, they call me Leroy. Getting arrested didn't slow his momentum down, though. And Rai came home and got right back on the grind. He kept dropping new tracks, and it didn't take long for him to start getting some major attention in the industry. Lil Rai told No Jumper that he was asleep on the couch one day when his manager woke him up and said Gucci Mane was on the phone. I was asleep at my home by Dave's house, and he woke me up like, Gucci on the phone trying to talk to you, so I just turned around like, what the fuck in my face? Then he do it again. And he like, your manager on the phone, he like, Gucci trying to call you. Gucci had actually been trying to link up with Lil Rai for a while, but Rai's IG page had been taken down, and Gucci didn't know how to get in contact with him. Lil Rai and Gucci chopped it up on the phone, then Gucci flew him out to New York and ended up signing Rai to his 1017 label. Linking up with Gucci was a huge win for Rai, but some people think signing with Gucci is a bad move. A lot of people talk about the 1017 curse because so many of Gucci's artists end up in prison. Gucci signed Hot Boy West back in 2021, and now yeah. West is serving 15 years for trying to run his baby mama off the road. Fujiano got booked for a gun just a couple of months after joining 1017 and is serving five years right now. Pooh Shicey was supposed to be the first star on 1017, but then he got wrapped up in a crazy robbery and shooting situation and caught a five year sentence. Some fans blame Gucci for all the rappers on his label getting booked, but he just signs dudes who still have a foot in the trenches. Gucci gave him a way into the industry, and he's not the reason they're still crashing out. Adam22 from No Jumper asked Lil Rye about the 1017 curse, and Rye said, No matter what you do, he riding with you. He just wants you to do the right thing so he'll have to ride behind the wrong thing. Hopefully Lil Rye doesn't end up getting booked like the rest of Gucci's artists. Right. He's been starting a lot of beef and getting yeah. into some wild situations, but maybe he'll slow down before it's too late. Hopefully he slow down before it's too late, but the word, the, hey, the rate he going, that's so crazy how we stopped it on 1017. You know what? I'm not saying shit. I don't, mm -mm, it's a curse. A little rah told him no. jumper. That'd be on some sober shit, now. Mm -mm. Yeah, you left it behind, you're over it? Ooh, yeah, I don't, I don't take no drugs. It's like, I don't care about it. Mobile, it be a lot of fuck, a lot of kids listening to music, like churn, like elementary school kid takes me on Instagram and shit like that. You feel me? So I'll be like, damn. I keep talking about eight perks hey, a day. Hey, them are the people who's listening to these 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 niggas' music. It's, it's the kids, the elementary kids, the middle school kids, and freshmen. Those are the people who's listening to this music. Anybody over fucking 25, you feel me? We ain't really fucking with this shit. Because it's like, it's like the title said, this shit is crash out shit, bro. This is this is the new wave that the kids is this is what they they looking up to, bro. This shit crazy. Like Ten perks a day. I just look eight y'all like damn I can't wait to turn fourteen, take my first perk. Yeah. You feel me? Shit like that be on thinking mine. 
a lot of dudes pop perks and get wild, so if Rai's slowing down on the pills, it should help him stay out of more beef. Rai said that dudes in his hometown will try to start issues with him just to get some clout, but Lil Rai said he's not going out looking for smoke anymore. It sounds like Rai's trying to make the right moves and focus on rap. A lot of street dudes who make it in the industry keep one foot in the trenches and end up catching charges they don't need to. But Rise told no jumper. You are never supposed to be like, I'm in the streets all my life. You're supposed to be in the streets to find out how to not be in the streets no more ever again. Lil Rock keep going up in the rap game if he stays out of the drama. But if he keeps beefing with street dudes like Fowell in Atlanta, it's only a matter of time before something bad goes down. Say. <clears throat> You got a good head on your shoulders. Use that motherfucker. Use it, move smart, stay out of dumb shit. Whatever you put your mind to, you can achieve it, bro. Don't run behind these dumbass rappers who's only talking about shit to get famous. That's it, that's all. Half of these niggas ain't even doing what they say they doing. Move smart and think for yourself. Y'all enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, share this video, and comment down below. And let me know who y'all want me to react to next. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.